guess you could say I wasn't cut out to be a family man, not in the traditional sense. I did some things that I'm not proud of. Kyle took what was on the page and made it so much more specific and strange, and you feel an entire life behind the whatever 10, 10 or 12 pages I think that he's actually in the script physically. You feel his, his, the shadow of him over the whole story. When you meet him, he really is full, and the audience suddenly, it is like a sort of record, you know, the needle coming off a record, and that scratching moment where you can't take your eyes off him, you're totally riveted, and you just wonder what has happened to this charismatic but damaged and haunted man. I like some paper, should I pretend? Pretend, uh, pretend. The character scared me a little bit. I was bothered by the material because I didn't, I, I didn't know how to play it. I, I had no clue as to how to see your son after 10 years who you've not seen and say hello to him and at the same time want to get rid of him. And that was, that was one of the main reasons that, that I almost had to take this role is because I was so damn scared of it. And I, the actors will know what I'm talking about because usually we get, you know, we get comfortable and say, no, I can't do that. But I had to. Yeah. Hey. Dad. Uh, it's Sutter. Oh, shit, of course. You, uh... Oh, man, I, uh... Look at you, of course. You, uh... You're taller than I am. Kyle Chandler, he embodied that role with so much authenticity, and he called me after he, he finished the movie, um, and he said, I don't know what the hell I just did, but if you cut me out of the movie, I'm okay with that. And I said, what are you talking about? He goes, I don't know what I was doing back there on set. He goes, I don't know if any of that stuff was usable. But I'll tell you something, I don't live in the past, I live in the now, because that's what it's all about. Do you understand that?